What's up guys, Charles from Free Tanks Dev and I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM using Twerp Recovery on the Droid Razer HD. Uh, basically, you will need uh, your phone to be rooted and your bootloader unlocked in order to actually uh, flash a custom ROM. So I'm going to show you, I'm running on Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and this is my version of the uh, DX DST ROM, DST Odex ROM, uh, which I've already flashed on my uh, Droid Razer HD. So I'm going to show you how to uh, install a custom ROM. I'm going to boot into recovery mode using my Razer toolbox. Uh, there's different methods of actually uh, booting into recovery. Uh, this is one of the easier methods that. Uh, that are available. If you want the Razer Toolbox, you can check out my uh, the link in the description to actually download directly into your Droid Razer HD. So this is what Twerp Recovery looks like. And first, first things first, we need to do a backup. So we're gonna do a backup. You can actually select the cache and recovery as well. Uh, you can select everything, then you just uh, swipe to backup. It should take around, uh, depending on how much stuff you got on your phone, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. So once that's done, I'm going to fast forward and we're going to wipe the cache. Uh, what this does actually, it wipes everything at once. Uh, the Delvi cache, the cache, and, and so on and so forth. So unlike a safe strap where you, where you need to do it individually for a trip recovery, it wipes everything uh, all at once. So next step, this is the most important step before you install. You can see that the system is not checked. The box is not checked. You will need to actually check the box. If you do not and you do an install, um, it will actually uh, give you an unsuccess uh, basically a fa failed installation and everything will basically be wiped out from your phone and then you need to do a system restore you can see the restore option in case anything happens to your phone and restoring is going to take some time as well probably 10 to 15 minutes so ensure that you actually take uh, the system box under mount so you select the ROM that you have uh, already put on your external SD card. For me, is the DXD Remix Odex ROM. So once you select that, just uh, swipe to flash. Swipe to confirm flash, and then you should start installing. So basically, among all the steps, you will need to mount system before doing the install. So right now, everything's installed. We just do a uh, reboot of your phone and it will boot up in your new uh, ROM your new custom ROM whatever you downloaded doesn't really matter make sure it's actually working for 4.1.2 uh, basically that's it so enjoy your new custom ROM and any questions you can ask you can ask me so please subscribe and thanks for watching